Metal Jesus here, and I am back again with Kinsey. How's it going? Pretty good. And today we're going to be talking about some of our favorite complete in box games. And this episode is kind of funny because it's kind of gone through a lot of evolutions. It originally mm -hmm. started as a maps episode like a year ago. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, that changed into a manuals episode. Um, and then we decided those two things go really well together. So why don't we just combine them and do the whole box? That's right. So for this video, we're going to go through our collection and show you some of our favorite complete in-box games. This is a great episode for collectors because this is mm -hmm. why we collect, right? Mm -hmm. Is all the little extra things that you get in the original boxes and also some of the collector's editions. So, all right, let's take a look. All right, you want to go first? All right, so first off, um, a little bit simpler, not a super collector's edition, but so I love the packaging on yes. Vice City. Yes. And pretty much, this isn't even the collector's edition, and it comes with, first off. It comes with a lot. It comes I mean, with a lot. So full map, which mm -hmm. is super helpful, actually. I know, I know. <laughs> and actually, in most of the Rockstar games, I really do like the maps because it shows the ammo stores. Mm -hmm. It shows all of that stuff where you may or may not have it unlocked yet. You know, like especially in Red Dead Redemption, I use that map all the time. Yeah. Other side, poster. Very cool. All sexy. Yeah. And then also, <laughs> too, they're their manual and you described this really well i thought mm -hmm. but you, you said it's like the booklet that you see when you're at a hotel that's like hey these are the sights and sounds around town yes. these are the radio stations these are where the stores are i love that and it has like the uh the little ads like local ads in mm -hmm. here as well again rockstar even though this isn't like a collector's edition or anything special but it it, it really brings you into that world you know what yeah. i mean it's just so awesome and then also too i forgot to get it from my car but they released separately the sound tracks, mm -hmm. which a lot of people bought. And, yeah. I, and I listen to them in my car. It's awesome. I do too. I have the Flash <laughs> FM and I mean, they even put a lot of effort into that. It has the commercials oh, from the radio station. Which I love. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Cool. So that's awesome. So for me, um, I wanted to touch on in the start here, some working designs games where mm -hmm. we have two working designs games, but this is one, of, I think one of the more simple ones. It's a uh, Popful Mail and this mm -hmm. is on the Sega CD. Um, what's really cool about working designs is that they just go all out and they just make it really special. Mm -hmm. So first of all, they have this kind of foil covers on them, which stands out like it, it's reflective. It's really cool. You know, makes it look like they really cared about what they were doing. Absolutely. And then it's full color manuals as well with all the characters and some of the background for them. They talk about how to kind of prepare the memory card and things like that. But my favorite part about theirs is that at the end they'll have like translation notes. And essentially what that is, is that's a little bit of a behind the scenes look into the to the development where they take the Japanese game and they move it over to the North American market. I love how it's also written so conversationally yeah. and they're even like so one thing we added is we want to do a full color disc i hope that's okay and i was like damn right it's okay it looks awesome i know like, <laughs> or, we'll, or, or we'll talk about bugs that they fixed like mm -hmm. eh, this thing was kind of broken in, in the original release and so we fixed it. or we made it harder or we changed sort of the button mapping mm -hmm. it's really neat i definitely love these manuals yeah that's cool all right next up we have uh legend of zelda link to the past classic mm-hmm not only is it an awesome game, but it comes with some pretty awesome stuff that they put a lot of thought into. So first off, there's the map, of course. Right. And I really like this map, too, um, because it's also really useful. Because on the back, it has all the dungeon lore, as they call it. So there's also maps of the dungeons as well, not just like the overworld, which most maps are. And this is really, I mean, for those kids who don't know, this is sort of pre-internet where you really yeah. like studied this stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, like a lot. Yeah. And I really like it comes with this like top secret like guide and it has like a seal you have to break to open it <laughs> and like it's broken. Of course it is. But um, it just has a whole bunch of like little secrets in it that's like, where's the big key? Like all these things where you're like, I should challenge myself and figure that out. 
or open this. You know, I'd be suspect of the person who didn't <laughs> open that. I'm like, mm, did you actually play the game? Are you just like a reseller collector? <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it's like rare if you don't open it. I, I would think so, right? But, but, but you I, know, I, I know I, I love I love it when you look at these things and you're like, yeah, this was played. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's like sometimes when the manuals are written in, I'm like, dang it. Then I'm also like, oh, but they love it. I know, <laughs> I know. Or they, they, yeah, they write little you know annotations on it. It's like, yeah, yeah I love that stuff too. Yeah, and even like uh, the manual is filled with lore and everything as well. So it has a whole bunch of hints in it. It's like, it has everything. It's not just like the controller like most games are today. Right. Very cool. So for me, I can do an entire video on this next series, and that is the Ultima series. You did. Oh, did I? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean specifically in the packaging. <laughs> Ooh, save that one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah, so, and, and the reason why I say that is because the Ultima series was just groundbreaking for the time, specifically for the stuff that they put in the box. And I want to highlight the, they have, they did these basically compilations where they're the first and second trilogy where they, they put, you know, the first three games or the, or this is four, five, and six mm -hmm. into one box uh, for people who would want to pick it up later. This is amazing because they didn't skimp on it. They actually include the three cloth maps that, that, that you would get in the original games. And that's awesome. I'm pretty sure like most compilations, it's kind of like the cheaper version, you yeah. know, where it's just all three games yes. and that's kind of it. Absolutely. You're and, lucky if you get that manual. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> or it's like photoshopped or, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, it's like all black and white or whatever. So this is really cool. So they include that. Of course you have floppies, many, many floppies because <laughs> you have three games. Uh, but then you also have like a, a player's reference guide, which is very handy because mm -hmm. it shows you the keyboard shortcuts. Uh, you know, very important for getting around the game. Then you have like little trinkets. Mm -hmm. And like, I love that they have that too. I know. And so these are the kind of the collectible parts because some people would drill holes and then put it as a, a chain. I wore my Ankh from uh, Ultima Fort for years. Oh, that's awesome. For years. I know. It was like, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, they include a full clue book, which again, pre-internet, very handy mm -hmm. to have the, uh, the dungeons and sort of like, you know, how to get around in it. Then they also include a really kick-ass uh, basically manual with lore and history and monsters and just so much stuff. And what's awesome about this one, it also includes lore on the first couple games. So then like, yes. let's say you didn't play them and you only have these, you can kind of catch up a little bit. It's really cool that they did that. Yeah, and, and that, that's a good point is that in the Ultima series, there's a ton of history and all this sort of stuff. <laughs> there's a lot to, to read, but this is a really fun, you know, kind of like if you bought the game, you'd sit in bed at night to kind of mm -hmm. catch up. Uh, and then finally, one of my favorite things about PC games is that they would almost always include a product catalog. Now, back in the day, you would open this up and you would possibly maybe order games, but today it's so cool to see games I completely forgot about. Yeah. You know, some of these games that frankly are worth hundreds of dollars now because they never sold very well, but people are looking for them. So it's really neat to kind of get these catalogs. So every time I saw one of those when I had old games, I would like circle the ones I wanted. I and I'm like, if I had money, I'd buy all these. <laughs> like and it's and actually it's funny to because when you look at those catalogs today, you're like, wow. $12. I know. You're <laughs> you know, like, I should have bought or it. Or $30. You're yeah. like, holy crap, this is a $300 game now. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Very cool. And next up, we have uh, the Lunar Games. And these are pretty awesome. Yes, they are. They come with so much and so much awesome stuff. Yeah. And each one is a little different. So that's mm -hmm. Lunar 1, right? So this is Lunar 1. And so this has... Um, this like a hardbound book. Hardbound. And this Color. is the guide. Like, <laughs> yeah. when I first opened this, I remember, like, is that an art book? But no, it's just the guide. It's like, here's all the magic spells, here's everything. And it has so much useful information in it. Right. And, of course, it has the cloth map. Which is something that I, when you when you first told me about this, I'm like, a cloth map on a console game. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that itself is, I think, is pretty rare. Yeah. You know, cloth maps would come out on PC games because you had room for them. But yeah. this is cool that they packed it in here. It's awesome. And then the second one is really special. This one has, um, it has like a little, uh, what is it like a, it's not a figurine, it's like a, a medallion or something. Oh yeah, like that. it has like a necklace, right. and which is really cool. Yeah, I've actually seen beautiful. A, a lot of people wear them. Yeah. I've seen that a lot. It's heavy too, like it's quality. Yeah, and it comes with these little cardboard standees. And it's funny because we were trying to figure out what they do because I was like, well, you could put them on the map, like war but the, room style. But the but map in this one is really, like it, yeah, it's like really small. You're like, like I conquered the whole dumb. area. <laughs> that would be dumb. But it's funny because then I was like, all right, I'm going to find this out. And 
and I looked it up online and I was like, nobody knows what know. these are for. <laughs> I mean, they're cool, but you don't know what they're for. Yeah, yeah. you could use them for tabletop RPGs. Yeah. You're like, I'm gonna play as my Lunar character. Maybe create your own. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. I guess that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, so those are those two. Oh, and then for, I want to show this. Now this is a collector's edition for Bioshock 2. And the reason why this thing is so massive, so this is not the normal version of it, but this is a pretty amazing collection here. And the reason why it is this shape is because it comes with, one of its really special things is that it comes with the 12 inch vinyl score. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so awesome. <laughs> so killer. So this is really nice, because as you guys know, I, I do collect vinyl. Plus, it has a really high quality uh, art book in here. This is hardbound, beautiful. And the art in these games, I just, some of my favorite. Yeah, and this art book is so wonderful. This reminds you of something they would sell separately for like 30 or $40. Right. And it's so cool. Yeah, and this 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 whole uh, case here is actually really well made. Another little uh, extra thing that they included in here too are these posters from, they're like reproductions from the actual game. Mm-hmm the basically like the, the wall art that you would see in the game mm -hmm. that they recreated yeah and there's three of them here so such a, awesome. yeah it, it just if you're fans of the bioshock series or this particular game it's just you have to own it yeah definitely and last but not least oh we have, have one more after this one oh just kidding yeah <laughs> but this one's really awesome <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh so this is hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy and if you're familiar with infocom games a lot of them include kind of like little free awesome things the, the the feelies yes yes and so this one and also it has a really awesome manual right because it tells it to you like it's assuming you bought the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, like the real thing. The actual thing, You right. know, yeah. so it's kind of this whole thing is like, look at all this awesome stuff. Um, but I mean, it's so cool. It has like crisis aversion glasses. Which, yeah, so basically, yeah, these are crisis. So you can't see, right? So you basically- You're <laughs> avoiding oblivious. all the crisis. Yeah. <laughs> um, of course, the don't panic button. Which is the really hard thing to get in this, by the way. Mm -hmm. So yes, very jealous you have that. Yeah, because I have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then, of course, microscopic face bleed, which yes. is an empty. Oh, that was the wrong way. <laughs> it's empty, or who knows? Maybe who we knows? just can't see it. It's too small. Pocket fluff, disc. Like, it has so much stuff in here. Yeah. And it's just something really special that I'm really happy that I have in my collection. And all the Infocom games are very much like this, and they're known for that. And it, what's interesting is that they're text adventures. They're not, you know, there's no visuals at all. Mm -hmm. And so they really use the, the packaging to, to bring you into that world in a really satisfying way. I love collecting those games yeah it does such a good job it just puts you that much it more in the game it's awesome yep and then finally here i wanted a where's that <laughs> we have a bunch of stuff here a <laughs> modern sort of take on on a really great complete inbox game and i remember when i first bought the witcher 3 the wild hunt mm -hmm. You're like, what's the big deal? You know, I just bought this standard. It didn't cost anything extra. And then you open it up and you're like, oh my God. Like it's... It comes with so much. And I have to tell you, you didn't know. <laughs> I think when I got it, I was like, I'm going to play this now. So this is like a whole new world for me when he was showing me all I know, you're just like looking at it like, like for the first time and you put how many hours in that game? <laughs> at least 300. <laughs> but not very many hours looking through the manual, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently. So, but this is a great, it has stickers. It, what I really like about it, I mean, there's so many things about it. They took the time to include like a little note to the player, basically thanking you for supporting the game. They talk about the DLC and how that'll be uh, mm -hmm. free for the most part. There is a really nice game manual. There is a uh, compendium about the Witcher universe in here, so mm -hmm. it can kind of catch you up on the lore from the pre previous two games. Mm -hmm. It comes with a map. Again, it's like, and if you play this game, you know how, how freaking massive the game is, right? And a soundtrack. Mm -hmm. And they do this all in a standard <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. Case. I know. And they even include, I think in one of the manuals, it has a code to download the first issue of the comic book too. So you get even more stuff. Yeah. It's awesome. It's really an example of a company that just is really appreciative of their fans 
and wants to do something special, you mm -hmm. know? So it was definitely a great complete in box game. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so at the end here, we'd love to know what other complete in box games have really sort of stayed with you, kind of impressed you. You had a bunch of, you also had like Secret of Mana was another one that you were, you mm -hmm. know, wanted to we had a We had a stack. <laughs> yeah, we had to like pare it down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So we'd love to know at the end here in, in the comments, which games are some of your favorite complete in box games? And, and that's really two sort of categories. You have the original releases like this, and then you mm -hmm. have the, the collector's editions, which are a whole other thing, Yeah, right? it sounds like we have some more videos to do. I know. Well, I have a whole, I mean, PC games. <laughs> <laughs> there are some crazy PC games that have some awesome stuff in it, so. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thanks for doing this. We got through it. Finally! I know! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing and take care. Ah, complete inbox games. Love these things. It's why I get up in the morning. One of my favorite things to collect, and we just barely scratch the surface here. Now, if you like this stuff and you want to see me talk about more PC gaming side of things, I do a couple videos on my channel covering. Sierra games and PC stuff and all that. So I'll put links down in the description and also up in the corner under the cards area. So definitely check those out.